Hey guys. Happy Memorial Day weekend if you're in the U.S. of A. We celebrate Memorial Day weekend. Hudson's here. Most importantly, Hudson is here. We're back in New York City. We made it successfully from Philadelphia back to New York City with, with no problems. Oh, it's cake. Yeah. Except for the subway. Yeah, this actually the funniest thing, guys, is that the subway it was a quarter of the trip, time-wise. We got off the train, Penn Station. Took about 45 minutes to get from there, 20 blocks. Because, because, no downbound enough, trains were running. Yeah, no downtown uh, trains were running uh, from you know, from the Penn Station stop that we were at. So we had to go uptown and then go back downtown. Hey, Alfred Clues, popping in. You know that's that's normal. Sally Scipio, how are you doing today? Hope you're having a nice long weekend. If you have a long weekend, hope everything's going good. Yeah. Hey, Nick G. Listen to your CD this morning. Absolutely love it. We'll talk oh my more God. later. Oh my God. Oh my God, Nick G. That is amazing. Thank Loved you it. so much. So yep. much. Hey, Slim Diesel. Slim Diesel, popping in. Mike Rosano, welcome back. Thanks, Mike. Good to be back in the city. Yep, good to be back home. There's no, as Dorothy says, there's no place like home. Back in the New York groove. We're Ace back Freely. in the New York groove. And, We're Ace yeah. And guys, when we arrive back home, we have a whole bunch of packages awaiting us. So, thanks to you guys. Yeah. Uh, including some things from some channel supporters, including something from Marjoline. Yeah. We have uh, we have not opened it yet. Yeah. Also, some gifts from uh, David Jasper. We have not opened them yet. Um, we were just too tired to do anything like filming last night. Yeah. Uh, you know, it it was um, we live streamed yesterday in Philadelphia, and then we had our our journey back home on the train. You know, carrying all our heavy backpacks. It was crowded. Yeah, the train was pretty crowded. James, James is uh, absolutely right. But, I mean, we had a seat and everything. It's not like we didn't have a seat, so. I'm going to stay right around here. Good. Oh, man, look at this, guys. Look, people are dancing. The swing session. Oh, that's awesome, guys. Look at that. The swing session. Oh, let me get a little closer. Wow, awesome. Everybody's in a great mood. Look, guys, people are dancing at Union Square Park. The swing session. These are the musicians on Instagram: Pence Williams, Trevor. Dot Robertson. Dot five eight seven seven six, and Evan Hamaguchi. Ah, that's Trevor. He's on the bass. What's in New York pizza? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Nice to be back in New York. What a nice welcome back, right, guys? What a treat. What an absolute treat. Should we go up there and show them how it's done? Yeah, fly me to the moon, I would imagine. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Strike! Copyright Street Go Runo! <laughs> Strike one! <laughs> Batter up! Yeah. Batter up! <laughs> oh, look at him. Want to go show him how to dance, son? Yeah. Some I don't want to show dancing. him up, though. I don't want to make him look foolish. Yeah, exactly. CB Art Day still on holiday, plus working. Fiore is checking in. Jack Rapp says, good to glad to see our three exceptional moderators on the job today. Fantastic extra, extra job. good. We, we got, got the hat trick. Nick G in the UK moderator booth. Our front line. Front line. Michelle McGraw 
I, I believe, um, Michelle, are you out, out on the West Coast? I, 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 I think you might be. Most importantly, here's Mr. Hudson. He's recovering from his big journey, big trip to Philadelphia. Big time stuff. Big trip, big trip, right? Big trip. Look at the sleepy boy. Boy, did he love that super, what, what, what a California king size bed in the upgraded uh, suite room that we had at Aloft Hotel in downtown Philadelphia. Still a little sleep. Boy, did Hudson, look at how sleepy he looks. Boy, did Hudson love that bed. The bed was for us, and we got the little bench that basically. Yeah, we got the bench. We got the bench to in sleep a, on. In a uh, bath mat. Yeah. We laid on a bath mat on the bench. Oh, thank you, Robin. Robin says, uh, Richter says, welcome back home. Yeah, so let me show you the swing, the swing performance. The dancers are taking a break right now. We got the stand-up bass doing his thing. The swing session. Hey, Joseph Taylor. No, we couldn't film the, the train ride back. Um, there was no internet service, so we didn't live stream. I mean, I suppose we could have filmed it with our regular camera, but uh, Hudson just wanted some, you know, just wanted some R&R. &R. Just say it's all Hudson. Wow, look at all the pigeons in the trees. The pigeon tree. I better not stand underneath this tree, if you know what I'm saying. A lot of pigeons in the tree. So let's see, um, let's walk on around Union Square Park and see what's going on here on Memorial Day weekend. We're off to a good start. It's we had Memorial some Day swing weekend. music. Looks like in New York City. Right, you can't beat the swing music. What, don't you agree, James? Yep. Well, so somebody's gone to the cabin in the lake, some gone to the beach. A lot of people still here in NYC. Yeah, a lot of people in New York City. A lot of pe more people in the park here than there was in park in Philadelphia. Yeah. With Carla's record, I would avoid any bird fallout. Exactly, Nick exactly. That's That's why I moved away from the pigeon tree. I'm just going to call that the pigeon tree. Did you see all those pigeons in the tree? Yes. I oh, look them. at the back of this fountain. Look They're at the lions. Me side eye. The lions. The lions. One was the throwing shade on me. sleeps tonight. A wee wet. <laughs> a wee ma wop, a wee ma wop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everybody having some snacks? It's a beautiful day. What's the current temperature, James, if you don't mind me asking? Check. It's a nice day out. 77. 77 degrees Fahrenheit, guys. Sunday, Memorial Day weekend. Oh, We're yeah. winding up for the last uh, days of May. Oh, All I'm right. going to show you the dog run. All right. I'm going to show you the Union Square dog run. Let's check in on the doggos here. Yeah, right here. Hudson doesn't go in the dog run because he's just, um, you know, he doesn't like the gravel. But this one, uh, this one has, is not gravel at least. It's um, paved. But, you know, he's just, um, he's happy. He's happy just being outside the dog run. But look at this guy. Look at these guys playing. Oh, they look cute. Oh God, this guy's been in the bath. There's a little, there's a little, there's a, he's wet. He cooled himself off. Oh gosh. Oh, he's pr quite proud of himself. All wet. Oh boy, I hear a bagpipe. We gotta find that. I hear a bagpipe playing happy birthday. Yeah. We have to get out. We got the hell over there. Uh -oh. Where is the bagpipe, guys? Um, but I think I'm gonna start oh, I found the bagpiper. Oh my god. Is it anybody's birthday in the chat today? Bagpiper. Oh, happy birthday! Oh, whose birthday is it? 
Kailash Kumplash Oh, this is our friend, the pigeon lady. This is a this is the pigeon lady. She makes the most amazing pigeons, um, like like out of felt. But I don't see any today. Where are all your felt pigeons? Uh, they're put away. I'm gonna take them out in a little. Oh, she makes the most amazing. She makes the most amazing felt felt pigeons. They're so adorable. They look really lifelike. And Hudson has mistaken her felt pigeons for the real ones. So it's her birthday. Happy birthday to the pigeon lady. Happy birthday. Oh yeah, so let me show you the Gandhi statue here. Hold on guys. This is a nice little sanctuary here. See the Gandhi statue? Oh, happy birthday to Girl in the Curl. Her birthday is tomorrow. Oh, happy birthday, Girl in the Curl. We hope you like the bagpipe performance. Just consider that as early um, little birthday birthday performance for you. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. hot in the sun. Let's stay out of the sun for Hudson's sake. Let's look through the artwork. You know, <laughs> so that was nice. Yeah. Extra, extra good. What's happening in Union Square? Happy Memorial Day weekend, guys. Yeah, happy Memorial Day weekend to everyone in the USS. Okay, USA. taking out some time. Oh, look at these cute little guys. Yeah, knitted. Look at this. Crocheted, I guess. Look at these crocheted. Oh my God, look at how cute they are. Look at the reindeer. Don't you love the reindeer with the bells? Yeah, he's great. These are adorable, guys. And the elephant. Oh, these are so cute. Wow, and even the bags are crocheted. Yeah. Look at Hudson. Look at yeah, these. He he's them. checking them out. Yeah, he's, you know, they look okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't want Hudson to grab one of them because, you yeah. know, that, that, easel, easily, that, work well. that could easily happen with Mr. Hudson. Oh, boy. I got yeah. a spear. I do. Oh, gosh, here. So we go and we're talking, we're talking, 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 talking loud. Talking loud like Carla does. Talking very loud very loud and out of the out of the strike zone oh boy this it's everywhere so here we are at union square here's the main subway hub you can get to a lot of places from union square because it's has the n q r w l four, five, and six train, all here at Union Square. So because this is Memorial Day, let's uh, let's show you the, hey, did it, we saw a very similar statue at, um, in Philadelphia like this. Yeah, it's not bad. There's symbolism between one foot up, two front feet up, or no feet up. It means something with regards to the statue. Oh, really? I did yeah, not I know, know that. If anyone wants to look it up. James said there's some sort of symbolism of why the horse has either one foot up, no feet up, but, and you can see he has one foot up. He looks like he's prancing like Hudson does. Or the two front feet up. That's another, uh, it's either two up. Yeah, up. James doesn't remember what it means, but there's some sort of symbolism tied to that. Meaning. But here's Hudson, most hey, importantly. The guy doing the guitar and singing wasn't bad. Right, but again. Yeah, let's, uh, let's head, uh, down. Okay, so Union Square tour complete. Check, 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 check. Union Square, check, check. Oh, let's see if he does a trick. Let's see if he does it. Let's see if he makes it. Let's see if he does it. Not at no, all. No, didn't make it. Let's see if the next one does it. Okay, well, who's else? Who else is taking a turn? Let's see if anyone else is going down the pike. Nope. It's the wax. I think the wax is wrong. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here he goes. Nice. Nice, almost. 
no cigar. So guys, on the east side of Union Square, there's always um, guys playing chess. This is west. Oh, uh, south, south. Southwest. South, the south side of Union Square. Well, I mean, we're in the middle now. That's west, that's east. We're kind of in smack dab in the middle, but it's on the south side. And Big Daddy Adam Sandler threw sticks in front of the skateboarders. You know, west, yes, steps away from the west side. I was all proud, I got a direction right. Yeah, James was, James was like, I'm, I'm right, damn it, I'm, I'm right. I'm proud of it. Yeah, for once I'm right. And you, and you still corrected me. Yeah. I'm like, I, you know, I know my, my backyard. Oh, here. look, here's some sailors because it's Memorial Day Fleet weekend. Week, and they must be in town for Fleet Week. Oh, extra good. Oh, we thank you for your service. That's why the Protestant Reformation happened because the and so many Oh, hey, someone uh, Here's some gems. Some gems. Down the shady side. Yeah, we're gonna stick in the shade as much as possible today. I mean, it's nice. It's a nice temperature here in New York City, but the sun is pretty strong, and and you know Hudson he gets hot in the sun because he's got that you know dark gray coat. So we have to be mindful of, of the sun with with our sweet boy Hudson. So I'm gonna stay in the shade that keeps us cooler. But don't worry, we got plenty of water for Mr. Hudson. We'll give him water soon. Oh, see if we can replicate the sailor kiss. Yeah, we'd have to go to Times Square for that. Yeah. Yeah, we can. Uh... Gummy Bear says, can we get Hudson some pizza? Sure. Maybe sure. Guns. Yeah, that sounds good. Maybe on the on the other side of Washington Square Park, there's a good pizza spot. Maybe we'll get Hudson a New York pizza slice because he's been missing his New York pizza. Yeah, he does. That's true. He does. In all fairness, yeah. we did not get pizza in Philadelphia because yeah. Philadelphia is not known for their pizza, yeah. but we did have cheesesteak. I had cheesesteak for the first time, and so did Mr. Hudson. Loved the cheesesteak. In fact, in fact, James. Yeah, I had a bowl of broccoli. So, let's get in the shade. Yeah. I'm going to show you guys. We're talking crossing 13th on University now. Right, talking, right over here. talking about cheesesteak. Yeah. Guess what I'm wearing in honor. Yeah, look. Jim South Street. In honor steaks, of our cheesesteak. Hoagies. Which was Turn extra, around again. Extra good. Look at it. This is how it's done. This is how we do it. Nice. This is how we do it. <laughs> now, the guys, there used to be a club located above this market on the corner, up there on the second floor. And you'd enter over there. I don't know if any New Yorkers remember that. Can you give me the name? Tuesday's gonna be 95. Yeah. The maybe heat. we'll get some thunderstorms stuff. The heat is on. Right? I hope, you know, maybe. So look at this old building. This is the Amalgamated Lithographers of America. Isn't that cool? The Lithographers of America. Carla's wearing a cheesesteak costume. <laughs> yeah, cheesesteak. Can we get a pizza for Hudson? Yes, Karen. We're, we are going to get a slice of pizza for Hudson. We have a spot in mind. We just have to walk a little further. Yeah. Um, it's one of Hudson's um, preferred spots. When oh, they, look at all the pretty pansies, right? That's when what these are? When they hear Hudson's going to show up. Are these pansies? Too? Yeah, I think they're pansies, right? Guys, do you know, are these pansies? Am I, am I right in my thinking? Look, Hudson's looking at it. Tasty. Whoa. James had a broccoli steak with onions and low-fat cheese. Jack Rabbit said. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, onions broccoli, are a little racy for Broccoli me, Jack, says so. no cheese steak yeah. for James. Yeah. James is on diet. No cheese steak a for James. A bowl of broccoli and a scoop of I think it's not butter. Right. <laughs> no, no, not even I think it's not butter. Water-based. All you have, <laughs> all you have, is a sprinkle of a butter bal buds. balsamic vinaigrette. No butter buds. <laughs> but no. Molly McButter. <laughs> <laughs> Do they even make that stuff anymore? I don't anymore? think they make it. Stuart Price says. I used Hudson, to use it to take Hudson's rust off my bumper. Hudson's the pizza king. 
Molly McButter was great for taking rust off your lawnmower or something. <laughs> True good, that. Give it a good scrub. So guys, we're on University. Remember, a, uh, a couple of months ago, we were walking down University. It was cold. And we ran into, no, 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 Alec Baldwin. Oh, that's right. Alec Baldwin. So who knows? Who knows what we're gonna who we're gonna see this weekend? If he's not out in the Hamptons or you something never, like that, ever, you know. Ever know? Look, the gray dog. That's Hudson. Yeah, that's him. Hey. Look, they got a welcome yeah. to the gray dog. That's Hudson. Hudson's yeah, the gray yeah. dog. Yeah, They're welcoming the Hudson. Dog. Yeah. Hello, Hutch. Hello, Hudson. Wow. Just a beautiful day in Greenwich Village, guys. Rolo saying hi, Carla, James, and Hudson. Hey, Rolo. Here's Hudson. He's all happy. He's back home in New York City. He did love Philadelphia, but he's happy to be back home in good old New York City. Good old New York City. New York City. WN. Hey, Jeanette and Anthony. Happy Memorial Day hey, to you. Anthony, oh, Dolores Hell's in the chat. Nice to see you, Dolores. How you doing today? Jeanette happy Anthony, Memorial Day to everybody. Nice and, uh, relax somewhere. Yeah, hope you're staying. Nice and cool. Hey, look, cool. some uh, stuff for sale over there. Some little tents. See them? Oh, is it the art? Is it the Washington uh, Square Art Festival? I don't think so. Oh. I want to cross over there and see what they're selling. I, I, I think it might be the festival. Ah. Yeah, we'll have to cross over. Yeah, let's cross. Oh, guys. Oh, here's some more sailors. Hey, guys. In, they're in town for Fleet Week. Yeah. They have to deal with, you know. Let's see, let's see. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, my God, look, guys. Look. That's an Amtrak train. That's dope. And it's made of old camera parts and stuff. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh, wow, these are so unique. Yeah, look, little train look. thing. How are you? Oh, good. Nice stuff. Wow, that's so cool. Like a little brownie yeah, up there. Take part old typewriters. And nice, we collect like typewriters. So yeah, we and we have some vintage cameras. I mean, some of them, uh, you know, we, uh, we still use. Uh, you know, we learned on film cameras, so, yeah, you know, I that's... Yeah, I still shoot uh, we're, we're the slides and yeah. film. Yeah, oh. oh, let me show everybody all... Oh, wow! Yeah, it's like I've got like, probably a dozen typewriters up to my head just oh, because nice. they were... This is your name? You're, you're Richard? Exactly. Well, yeah. Guys, this is Richard. Richard Burkett, Fantasy Clocks. He makes these out of all typewriter parts. Oh, parts. camera parts. Oh my god. Old slide <gasps> Look at that. That's yeah, like Zilla with bass guitar and his girlfriend Bambi. Oh my <laughs> god, you are got you are so creative. Oh my god, look at this! We got the Millennium Falcon! Got Star Wars in there. Mm -hmm. Kids like the Star Wars, right? Yeah. Wow. Well yeah, like, uh, oh, you got a you have a beautiful Star imagination. Wow. Yeah. 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 Oh I see it. Look at the typewriter part. Look! Yeah, I see it. That's so cool. And I mean, it's got a lot of things going on. It's got the movie camera. It's got the typewriter. Wow. This is look, honey. This thing here is a very old uh, elevator switch. An elevator. Back when the only elevators only went up four or five floors. Exactly. Nice. Oh wow. Oh my god, oh I see a picture from a music box. <sighs> oh this is so cool just to identify all the, the, the pieces where the parts came from. Look at that, from a Minotaur camera. Wow, this is the this I gotta hand it to you. This this is probably the most creative thing I've ever seen as far as adaptive reuse of different parts of different Here you things. Have the Empire State Building, of course it's attracted uh, King, King Kong. Kong. But luckily, you have the plane to shoot King Kong. Oh, yeah, look, at look at that. See, it is moving parts to it, too. Yeah, right, right. So, guys, I yeah, mean, I would... Look, power return. So, he, he used an electric typewriter on that one. Oh, man. These are really dope. Is this part of... Are, are we, are we having... Square Art Festival. The Arts Festival. Oh. Either... The last one or the first one? Either way. Yeah, uh, either. Yeah, either way. <laughs> Depending on. I'm the end. I'm the end. Uh, right. Yeah, he's exactly. the, right. He's either the first. The the we're gonna we're gonna say you are the first vendor. Yeah. Right. Because you know, that that sounds that just sounds better. 
That sounds better. Oh, I'm going to definitely take your card. Thank you so much, Richard. Thanks for also, speaking uh, with us. Go Richard Burkett, uh, fan, or Fantasy Fox, or Burkett, PBS. They have a, about a five, six minute show. Oh, cool. Well, are you like, are you working on one in the show? Like, sh you know, putting yeah, one together? Uh, they, Just a little they documentary. Don't give away a secret. Yeah, yeah. Don't give away. Thank you. Have a happy Memorial Day. So guys, yeah, this is so awesome that we that we happened upon the Washington Square Arts Festival. Yeah, very cool. Awesome. This is an annual event, and luckily we did run into one last year. Mm -hmm. um, later on, I think you know because of the pandemic, they had canceled um, this for a while. So it's nice to see that yeah, it's back. Yeah, it was back. later in the summer, I thought. Yeah. The temperature dipped down into the 90s. Yeah, it might have even been the fall by the time. Yeah. Oh, maybe we can get some. Yeah. Look, she has some. They have some water. Maybe we get for Hudson. Okay, a little bowl of water for Hudson. That sounds good. Hold on. Look at this, oh. guys. Look at this. Hudson gets his, his water right here. Let's take him to the shade, James. Throw some shade on Hudson. No, we don't want him splashing all over the place. No, he won't splash anything right here. He's far enough away. Next trip to Florida, Mets fan 0-2-3, maybe sooner than you think. Yeah. That's all we're going to say right now. Oh, show Richard's business card again. Oh, I will. I'll get it out. Marvin, we'll do that for you, definitely. After Hudson finishes his water. Yeah, there was a guy who made all cool, uh, like the clock, and all cool old uh, metal materials. It was very cool. Typewriters. Hey, Ron, TV Metro. Very Here cool. it is. Here it is. Yeah, there it is. Which one? Fantasy Clocks. Fantasy yeah. Clocks. By hey. Richard Burkett. Yeah, Hudson's having, <laughs> <laughs> having his water. Having his water. He only likes it when I hold it. You know, like he doesn't want to lean all the way down to the ground. Yeah. I, have well, to, oh, I have to elevate well. it. Of course. Right. It's more comfortable, isn't it? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> How would you like to, to drink like exactly. that? Right. Exactly. Exactly. Put them like that. Too. Exactly. <laughs> Dog go out here. All right, here I come. Here, hon. Here. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, you're good. Here you go. Dog goes everywhere. Some jewelry. Some jewelry. Silver, yeah. copper. Some, some handmade pottery. Extra good. You can see that it, they're hand done because each piece is unique. Lovely. Hey, Johnny Azaria. Now hey, that we're back in New York, we're going to give you, Let's we're going to contact you because we would love to, love, we'd love to get together and, and, do a, and do a little walk with you, do a little live stream together. Let us know if you would like that, Johnny. Beautiful day. Extra, the sun. extra good day. We're gonna try. To, we're gonna try to stay in the shade, good. but we'll crisscross oh, to see the different, the, the different vendors at the uh, uh, Washington yeah, Square Art Show. But first, I want to show you a lovely mom and pop store. You know, our our channel is centered around highlighting mom and pop businesses. That's now, this is a beautiful florist. It's closed on for, on today because of the holiday. But this is University Floral Design. Oh, look at a pretty flower. And they've been in business since 1928. It's family owned and it's it's stunning. The absolutely stunning. You know. Look at that. Yeah. Alright, let's cross back over. We'll be closed uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday for okay, Memorial Day. The day off. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? These are real. Here, check the side window. Let's see that. Not fake flowers. No. Real flowers. This is a florist, guys. And James has gotten me um, bouquets and uh, floral arrangements here, you know, on on my birthday and anniversary. A nosegay. Uh, <laughs> in the past. <laughs> I mean, it's under the ubiquitous scaffolding now. There's not much we can do about yeah, that. So we're going to cross oh, this back. This is wonderful. I didn't yeah. know this was going on. This is awesome that we got to go to see the Washington Square Arts Festival. So, oh, so what a cool treat. What a treat for us and, and for the channel. Yeah. Oh, look what's going on here. Uh, 
the sex chat is here. Welcome aboard. We're getting rid of you, and out you go. And out we go. Out we go to the sex chat. In one here, out the other. Right? Hudson, Hudson doesn't look like a grabber. No, he's not a grabber. No, he's a sweet boy. A sweet boy. Hey, look at this. It's like a, Oh, wow. Look at these like beautiful Haiti paintings. Stuff. William Cantwell. Wow, he's from Port St. Lucie, he came hey. from. Wow, he had a journey. 45 minutes from anywhere. Port St. Lucie. No, seriously. Up there a little bit. Oh, wow. Look at these guys. <laughs> Some beautiful glassworks. Look at the beautiful frames. Pop artworks. Very cool. Yep, there's a lithograph of our favorite Chrysler building. Extra good. Yep. This is a. These are amazing. I always wanted a portrait of toilet paper. You know, I uh, thought the same I, thing. I gotta say, toilet paper. Yeah. Who, who doesn't want to hang up toilet paper? Yeah. You know, maybe in the bathroom you grab at it, you know? Yeah, hey, you don't know. You don't know what's going on, right? This isn't a very expensive dog store. Yeah. I, we don't go in here because I think these dog beds are like... How much is that one? Well, you got to get a mortgage. Eight hundred dollars for the dog it's bed. It's a mortgage. You have to apply. Eight hundred dollars. Buy a bed. Eight hundred dollars for the dog bed. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, that's all. That's all. When it gets dirty, you get a new one. And then Hudson throws up on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, he. No. He's a perfect gentleman. He's a perfect gentleman. He would never mess up the eight hundred dollar dog bed. Hey, listen. He was sleeping on our bed in oh, the hotel. I guess we have to cross again. You know. Yeah, the, 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 beautiful, the beautiful king. California king size bed. He had the whole bed hey, to look, himself. Hey, look, Knickerbocker's open again. Oh, excellent. We had a meal there once, guys, and it was fair to middling. Yeah. I think it's more for the um, atmosphere. You know, they have yeah. music performances. Yeah. Didn't get sick after yeah. so let's put it that way. You know, the food, eh, you know, we're just you know, being I, honest. We, you know, we didn't think much of the fair food there. Fair to middling. Beautiful day out here. Suzanne Lazar saying hi, watching from New Jersey. Hey, Extra Suzanne. Extra good. Guys, we're at the Washington Square Arts fast. Festival. It's a long university place, and it runs all the way to, to the Washington Square Arch. There's all different, I will, all different uh, vendors from jewelry to pottery to paintings. Yeah, so oh, look at the doggo. You know we love the doggo. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No problem. Hey, we might have bought one. Who knows? Don't worry. What an attitude that is. Guys, <laughs> this, that artist did not want us to show his paintings <laughs> yeah, on put camera. Yeah, inside a closed tent. Well, I mean, okay. Yeah, Fine. Easy, you easy. know, we, we, we respected it, but to me that didn't really make sense because maybe somebody in the chat would have wanted to buy one of the paintings, but that's okay. If he doesn't want us showing them on camera, um, that's that's fine. He was pretty adamant about it. Yeah. It's a very a very strange business um, move. You know. But that's fine. Maybe he just does it, you know. What? Well, maybe no, his ex-wife has asked her. Who knows? But... It doesn't make sense to me if you're in a public place trying to sell your art on the street. It comes in the weirdest spots. It does. Right. So hey, let's go in the shade. Right. Why you wouldn't want your artwork to be shown and highlighted, it. but you know, to each his own. Oh yeah, let it go. Yeah, let's uh, positive. So we got plenty of other artists to highlight, so that's not a problem. Please, no photographs of art without. Work of the permission. So we'll skip that one. At least they, they put a sign so I knew ahead of time. Yeah. Beautiful. Hello. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. Customers? are not your enemy. 
Beautiful. I think the toilet rolls was a symbol of the pandemic where everyone was bulk buying. Oh, Janice, I get it. I get it. Totally get it. I get where you're coming from. Cello. This is Peter Louis. Oh, how beautiful. We've ran into Peter before. Yes. And he's in the prettiest spot. This is the prettiest spot, I think, because this beautiful, beautiful, it's a it's like a private little um, you know courtyard There's where people dog. live. Dog outside the butcher. Oh my god, this is look at this red dog. And in the pumpkin. Oh, this is gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, look, Ledyard, Connecticut. Oh, Joseph Taylor's asking if we could go show the Triangle Shirtwaist Fire Building. Sure. Yeah, we could definitely do that, Joseph Taylor. We're going to just stay here in the shade for a second, and I'm going to show you beautiful. I got something to play for the two of you. You All do? Right. Yeah, this is a song I wrote for people in love. Oh. Here we go. This is a qualified. song for people in love and Hudson too because we're all in love. We're a big happy family. Okay. He rules the roost. I wonder did you fall from heaven? There's no hole in the ceiling. There's no glass on the floor. It must have been some other way that you came. In. Must have been some other way you came into my life. How did you find me? Yeah, how did you know? Did you look in my eyes? Did you look in my soul? Was it a word that I sang? What? Was it a song that I sang? No, no. Must have been some other way that you came. Must have been some other way you came into my life. You, you're the only one that knows it. It's your secret. Take it to the grave. up and found you lying there I wonder did you fall I just folded your wings and I pulled up the bank yeah must have been some other way that you came Taxman, we will. Oh my God, bravo, bravo. Wait, I want to get you something. Hold on. That Beautiful. was amazing, amazing, amazing. Wait, you have my wallet? Hold yeah. on. Taxman 81, 15 bucks. I know, I know. And he says, please give him give five him bucks. Yeah, definitely text her. That was absolutely beautiful. I oh, loved it. Hey, Tanya. Textman, thank you In so you go. much.
Thank you. Have a rest of the day. Good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yep. So, guys, before we go back Very to the pretty. art show, let me show you. Wow, that was great. That was amazing. And, guys, you know, you, if you know from the chat, if you're new to our channel, I also play the cello. So I really appreciate an original composition and what's, what's called pizzicato. When you pluck the strings, that's called pizzicato. You know, like right now he's using his bow. But um, to play something all in pizzicato is, um, is unusual. Yeah. You know, usually, you know, you might do a little pizzicato here and there, but um, most songs are not written in pizzicato. They're, you know, they're for when you're using your full bow. Yeah, that was, am five. that was amazing, guys. So listen, we're, we're in a beautiful, beautiful, um, this is Washington News, correct? Yes. And we've walked it a few times. Yeah, we've walked it a few times, but this is one of, this is one of the most picturesque uh, courtyards that these are, these are private residences. Some are owned by NYU, but some people um, own them. And I mean, it just a, it's a, just a gorgeous day. And that's amazing music by Peter, the cellist. Yeah, beautiful. So fat, so, so beautiful, so talented, Peter. Thank you, Peter. Really? Yeah. That was so nice. Lovely. And who doesn't need some music in their life, as well as art? And yes. just walking along this beautiful, beautiful Washington um, Square art show. Yeah. Extra good. Extra good. Yeah, so thanks, Texman. That was so sweet of you. Thank you so much for the love and support. Yep, we really thanks, appreciate Texman. that, um, Texman81. Oh, they got a nice shady area down here. Uh, yeah, it like makes a significant difference. Oh, look, that's where we were yesterday at 34th yeah, right Street there. Penn Station. Yeah, look at how that looked like us Excuse waiting me. on the Excuse platform yeah. with El Hudslero. Yep. <laughs> El Hudslero. See guys? Oh, look how cute. Look at this. Look at the doggo. Oh. There's Mr. Hudson. There he is. There he is. Mr. Hudster. Oh, here's some more, here's some more Dolgos. Oh, look at this beautiful handmade. Uh... Oh, I think we saw him last year. Oh, yes. I remember because, I, I remember because he, this, this artist, I, rem I remember we saw you last year because I love the texture in your paintings. And I think you were in the same spot. <laughs> Good, thank you. Guys, I'm gonna show you. This is Brian Jocelyn and his paintings. If you can't see, there's an amazing 3D, like there's texture to it. So it's not just, um, I, I mean, I would say that's one of the hallmarks of, of his painting um, is the beautiful texture to it. I'm gonna show you from the side so you can see how the paint is coming off of the, of the canvas. You know, I'm sure not only does he use a brush, he probably uses um, a knife as well, right? Do you use a knife as well? Uh, mostly brushes. Oh, just, you're just globbing it then? Lots, lots of paint. Very lots generous. of paint, yeah, globbing it as I call it. <laughs> well, for lack of a better word, right? Whatever works. <laughs> Whatever works, thank you. Oh, and look, prayers for Ukraine too. Extra nice. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Oh my, he's got little booties on. Hi, Doggo with the booties. He's got little green booties. It's like he's wearing balloons on his head. <laughs> balloons. Wanna walk down the, let's walk down the center here, see what's going on. Oh, guys, we found it. The food area. OMG. The food area of the festival. Of course Hudson led, led us to the food area of the festival. I mean, you know, the paintings was nice, the music, the cello, very, very nice, but, you know, hey, you know, 
But hey, the food, the food is where it's at. That's Hudson. In Hudson's mind, okay. Oh, look at the cat shirt. Oh, look at all the cats. Black. Look, Marion, are you in the chat? It looks like Sooty. Oh, I hope Marion's in the chat and sees this. I'm not sure if she is, but it looks like Sooty. Guys, Hudson always wants food. Do you like Hudson wants food? Hudson always wants food. Yeah. Memorial Day weekend, guys. Greenwich Village, yeah. Washington when, Square. When does, when does Hudson not want food? I mean, that's Park. like that's like saying, um, you know, I need to breathe air. North. You know. Smack ah. dab. Wait, wait, wait. In it here. Wait, 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 wait. AFP all for pause. Wait, James, come here, come here. Look at this. This is all for pause. Look. There's a little fire hydrant. Oh, look. Look at Hudson spam the little friend. Oh. All for pause. Oh. Hudson's like, but but where are the treats? That's 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 the Oh oh well, wait a minute, wait a minute, Hudson's coming over then. Here you go, Hudson. Sit 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 and give you a paw. But how, how you? He's like, where are you? He's like, oh just give me the damn tree. Can you sit bud? He can sit. Come on, sit. And oh good job. Oh, good job buddy. <sighs> <laughs> oh, what? He's like, I don't want it. What? You don't want that tree? Like it? Here, does he want this? What, what a little you? bandana Thank for free. So oh, Hudson, would you like to wear a little bandana? It's a cooling bandana. Yeah. You can soak oh, it in water. You could soak it in water. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. My gosh, thank you so yeah, much. Of course. Hudson will love that. You know, he does get really hot because of his dark gray color. Yeah. We rescued him from Miami. Oh. Hudson, look, I you know, you eat these biscuits. Why are you being so picky? Oh <laughs> Oh my like God. Oh, maybe maybe he's thirsty. Is that what it is? You want me to hold it for it's later? Got a little bit of water right there. Yeah, oh, there's much left. Oh, oh, okay. There's, we're gonna get, we're gonna get him some nice cold water. But yeah, thank you, thank course. you. All for pause. Look, guys, Hudson got a gift just for being Hudson, just for being the sweet boy Hudson. Thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. James, look, look what they gave Hudson. It's a cooling bandana. We we put um we we yeah. put ice water on it. It will help keep him cool. It's extra large size for oh, yeah. Mr. Hudson. Yeah. He's stoked. Here, I got Hutch. Oh, can you hold this for, for yeah, a second yeah. while I put this away? Yeah, you got some water? Yeah, I think Hudson... Guys, look at how beautiful it is out here. Thanks for joining us today. Hudson didn't want to have a treat. He's holding out for, for pizza. Hope I you're think. having a nice 4th uh, of July weekend. Yeah, it'll keep him cool, right, Michelle McGraw? Very cool. No, he doesn't want the, he doesn't want no. the treat. No. Heidi and Ellie Sapelli, 5 euros. Oh, thank Sapala. you, Heidi. Sapala. Let's give so Hudson Pele. some water. I think he might be thirsty, guys. Very cool. James, why don't we have this pretty background? Right over here, we'll give Hudson oh. some water. Yeah. The lions, the whole bit. Hudson, are you thirsty? Yeah. Oh, Thank you so thirsty. much, Heidi. Oh, Fantastic job. You, hey, Heidi. Joseph Taylor. Hey, Joseph Taylor. Did James say 4th of July weekend? Uh, it's possible, but it's Memorial Day weekend. Guys, sadly, I wouldn't put it past me. <laughs> he skipped a month ahead. Andy Wood. That wasn't scripted. It looks so nice out here. I thought it was for, you know. Yeah, maybe Carla better salvage this. <laughs> Guys, I think I better hold the gimbal and, 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 and man the chat. James doesn't even know what month it is or what holiday it is. He needs help. He's delirious. Memorial Day, guys. Big time stuff. Oh, they, they said definitely you did. You definitely nice. said it was 4th of July. Run a red line to that, guys. We all know it's Memorial Day. You know that. Kind of just have your red China marker with you. Peel off some of that paper around the Chinese crayon, the marking crayon. Throw away the spiral and then just run a red line through that. 
It was great seeing a couple of the artists we recommend. We uh, recommended last year. And look at that. Yeah, he's got his little chill out thing, and the guy has his shades on. Looking very dope. Here's the scene. This is looking east towards East Village. This is looking west towards West Village. This is looking south. Soho would be the next part down there. And then behind us is Greenwich Village, the heart of it. Smack so look, dab. See, look at this, James. Look how cute it is. Yeah, see, it just, you, you soak them up a little bit. And you put on this little chill out collar. Oh, I think it's adorable. I'm, yeah, he's I gonna, think I'm going to leave it on. Yeah. Guys, look how cute it looks on Hudson. Yeah, it looks great. We've gotten a lot of great mechanisms. Yeah. AC teacher, he wore yours in uh, Chicago. Yes. Everybody loved it. No, we, uh, we did that on the on the build, <laughs> on the Lego build, James. Well, you know, maybe it was Fourth of July. I don't know. Yeah. Again, I better hold the gimbal and and take hey, care of the so chat. Oh, I want to tell you an interesting factoid about these buildings. Now you see all these buildings, right? right? And you see all these steps. Now you would think that the steps is an entry to these townhomes, hey, this right? I, I do know. Right. You would think that these steps, right, guys in the chat, would, would you or would you not think that these steps and this door leads you to get into these apartments? They're false fronts. But no, the answer is they are not real doors. These are false fronts. The whole front of the building. The whole front of the building is false. It's enter, all for show. You enter a main entrance in the back and it's apartment building. Yes, it's actually an apartment building. That's what it's And like. you enter in through the back. And we'll, we'll, we'll have to go around the corner and show yeah. everyone. The people that own the um, Staten Island, the Mariners. The, the uh, people that own um, the Snug Harbor. Um, for Mariners. Like it's a Snug Harbor Museum like in, in Staten Island. They own owned, this. owned this whole block of, of buildings. This is their property. And they when they constructed the the apartments, they kept the they, they did this false front so that it would look nice facing Washington Square Park. However, they're not um, townhouses. They're actually, you know, divided apartments. So we're gonna show you the back of it because I mean I think that's the coolest fact yeah. ever. Like you would think you that these it? would be like very wealthy townhomes, but it's a false front. So let's go around to the back and show you the actual entrance to the apartment building. So those are all false fronts. See, we because James and I are architectural photographers, we come across all these interesting details. Yeah. And we like to share them with you. See, this is how you get in. Right, so this is how you get into those to those uh, apartments. See, apartment house, 7 to 13 Washington Square North. You can come on. Wait here. Oh. This is the actual, the entrance to the apartment building. So all those facing Washington Square, that's false fronts. This is the way to get into the apartments. Yeah. Isn't that really, isn't that the coolest thing? See, this is what they look like on the back. No, it wasn't done for security purposes. It was done uh, many, many, many years ago Aesthetics. by for the aesthetic because they wanted the they wanted the front that faced Washington Square Park See, this is the to back look of all those right. So this is the back of what you think are townhouses, but they're not townhouses at all. It's actually an apartment building. So those are just false fronts that face Washington Square. It's just an, it's just well, a big old apartment building. We're gonna. And this is the little court, courtyard. How old are the apartments? Oh, that I would have to check online for you. Um, they're, they're old, but not like, you know, not old like some of the things we saw in Philadelphia. Look at all the ivy out here. Yeah. So look at this. This is a statue of Cervantes. This statue was presented to the city of New York by the mayor of Madrid, Spain in 1986. It stood in Bryant Park before being donated to NYU in 1989, and they placed wow. it here. That's a nice rendering. Cervantes. And yeah. look at Hudson. Wearing his cooling neckerchief. Nick G says he prefers the front for sure. Yeah, exactly. Oh, 
Guys, remember yesterday I saw the purple puff balls in Philadelphia. Someone in the chat um, oh, say Alenium. I think Look, it was. Right that was standing up. Oh yeah, here's a good one. I can get close yeah. to. Alenium or something. It had two words to it, but I think part of it was Alenium or something. Yeah, it looks completely different than the front, right? You would never know. That's why they didn't want this to be facing Washington Square Park. Like this just looks, you know, like right. boring, you know, nothing, nothing super special about that. And then the land, what's the Mariners dust? Uh, the Snug Harbor, right. Folks allowed these to be built, which are totally out of scale in Greenwich Village. Right. They also they own, tower. they also own the, this, this land. They also own the, uh, the land across the street where that big tower was built. Totally out of and, character in Greenwich Village. Right, it's totally out of character in Greenwich Village. So, I mean, I could say they weren't really caring. Win some, lose some. Yeah, they weren't really caring about maintaining the character of the neighborhood as far as low-lying townhomes. But at least they kept the aesthetic facing the front. Oh, what is the street address so I can look up how much they cost? Oh, I'll tell you right now. Here they are, the street address is 7 to 13 Washington Square North. 7 to 13 Washington Square North. Yeah, Hudson's um, neckerchief is supposed to be wet. But yes, yes it is. But I just put it on just because- He looks fetching. It. He looks very cute in it. But when I get to a, uh, like a, a water fountain, I might wet it for him. But then, you know, you have to remember, Hudson doesn't really like to be wet. Yeah, I'll probably take it off at that point. Right. He doesn't like anything wet on him. But he might like it. Maybe uh, it will he, cool him. He's not going to like that. Uh, tell you, I know my Hudson. He's probably not going to like it, guys. Okay, let's cut down his nail cut into the park. Hudson says, I prefer, I being, I prefer being hot and dry. Yeah. <laughs> Fine and dry. This is the scene, guys. Greenwich Village. Memorial Day. <laughs> Memorial Day. Weekend. Oh, look, there's a piano player underneath the arch. Should we check that out? It's a pupusa platter. Pupusa. Yeah. Very nice. Pupusa. Yeah. Whoa. A little smoky. Smoky. Some shish kebab and gyro action. Hi. Hudson. Hudson is smelling all the meats. The meats, I guess you could say, right? Yeah. James, the, the meats. Yeah. Pupusa is an El Salvadorian dish. Oh, oh that's nice. good to know. El so yeah. Salvador. Very cool. Posters for sale. Posters. Right. Hey, do they have a Rocky poster? Yeah. Da, 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 da. Well, Rocky's not a real boxer. Well, there's Scarface. <laughs> Rocky. I know, I know. Love to see him get in the ring, Sylvester Stallone. Mickey Rourke is. Yeah. Mickey Rourke's a real boxer. Oh my God, look at this sock, James. I see it. Sloth sock. No, it's like a hot dog. I, I do see the sloth. Guys, you're just getting back into the New York groove. See, that hides his chain, so in a way it's kind of nice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Real nice one. No prices. Ignore my vices. Find something you love. Give it a value. Deduct 5% for self-service. Haggle with yourself one more time. Wow. It's a priceless store. Right. Wow. That's kind of, that's kind of interesting. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Batik printing kind of on there? Bartuner of all. Product of Italy. Yeah. Huh. Oh, a little walking tour. Yeah. I wonder if this is the same thing. Not, no, right? These are not I don't just think false so. fronts. I think it's just those on the right. north and the See, east these, side. See, these are the real, real townhouses where you can actually enter through the front door. It was just those other ones. Yeah, um, on Washington Square North that oh, we pointed out. the phone case kiosk. Nothing says street fair than phone case kiosk. Yeah. 
Look at this, cat mint wheel cake. Look at this, wait, guys, I'm, I'm intrigued what cat mint is. Cat mint, look at them, they're, 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 they're baking them. They're, that's, people are waiting. I'm not in, I'm not cutting, I'm not cutting the line, I'm just intrigued. Look at this, it's called cat mint. It's a wheel cake. There's matcha cho custard chocolate, custard and boba, and matcha red bean uh, mochi, $5 each. I'll take the, the one with chocolate. Wow. It's in, very interesting looking. James, it looks very, they're baking it right there. They oh, look so have, fresh and nice. For Hudson. I know, pizza for Hudson. Oh, look at this furry doggy. Yeah, he's furry. Oh my God, he's the cutest thing. Hi. Is he friendly? This is Hudson. He's very friendly. I love her fur. She's so sweet. What kind of dog is this? She's a Spanish water dog. A Spanish water dog. Oh, so like the Portuguese water dog. A little Right. Now, is that a double coat? Like, does it stay dry when they actually go in the water, like mm -hmm. underneath? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, Hudson. Oh, God. I'm sorry. You know, it must be like marking, you know, saying, I call it reading the P-mail. Yeah. What do you think? Yes. She's like, well, I mean, it's a little too close for my taste. Yeah. Hudson, what, what are you doing with that? That was embarrassing. Oh, the naked. Oh, God. In they come, and back out they go. It's fantastic out here. Hudson, Beautiful weather. Juan L said Hudson was making himself at home. Yeah, but it was a little bit embarrassing right. because the owners were right there. If and you're then in the area, you know, the weather couldn't be nicer right now. Right yeah. here on Central uh, Washington Square Park, North. Yeah, this beautiful. Just strike a line through yeah. everything that James says. Strike a line through it. Here's candy apples, by the yeah. way. Yeah. The Stussy Legend. Oh, Nick G. Yeah, I got them too, Nick G. So we we double we double hid them. Yeah. <laughs> A phalanx. Uh oh, watch out! Hudson might just grab no, one of these things. <laughs> these things that's are just. That's not Hudson. <laughs> Hudson's you know, not very Hudson. quiet. Hudson's the quietest little boy. He never, he really virtually never barks. Oh my God. Oh no, look at that big <clears throat> hunk of turkey. Yep, nice. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my goodness. James, look what Hudson has spotted. Hudson has spotted these giant turkey legs. Oh, but he knows what's coming. He knows what's coming. Hudson, would you like to have some pizza? Yes. Yes. All right, so yeah, let's, go. let's go. Oh, not yeah, through I, Washington I Square through Park? There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought now we'd cut back in and um, yeah, head that way. In and out. After the park. Yeah, well, yeah. maybe that would have been better, huh? Yeah. We'll get him pizza first. You know? right? Yeah. Got the hanging tree. Nice. This is the oldest tree in Washington Square Park. According to the gentleman walking by. Well, he's doing the walking by. Oh, yes. I'm not sure if that's entirely accurate, but we're going to we're going to go we're going to go with it. Those kind of things oh, go wow. to preface by arguably. Right. Arguably the oldest tree in New York. That's what we overheard. Yes. So, we got to go Jim with Brown. Oh, yeah. Keep on talking. <laughs> Strike eight. <laughs> Strike eight. Washington Square Park. Memorial Day weekend, guys. Ah, give the drummer some. Look at a Memorial Day weekend. Wow. Look at that guy. He has a little tent over his head. Oh, God. Yeah, I know. 
this is nice. Taxman says it is the oldest tree, he planted it. Oh, that was beautiful. Can you? Oh, oh that's awesome, because he's, he's on the guitar. Oh, they sounded awesome, guys. Most importantly, here's Sweet Boy Hudson. I think you just said ten dollar donation for for a CD. If you want to get by the CD. Perfect. Yeah, that's a great deal. Yeah. They sounded fantastic. Yeah, they did sound really great. That's a really good deal. Joseph Toiler said, I thought amplified music was not allowed in the park. Um, gee, I don't know. Um, did they have an amplifier? Yeah, they did. Wow. You know, the other way. maybe it's been overlooked because it's Memorial Day weekend. But, I mean, remember there were signs at that other park that the guy couldn't be oh, playing yeah, music. Yeah, in Madison Square Park. In Madison Square Park, there was a definite sign to that effect. Yep. So, um, gee, I don't know. Guys, here's the chess section of Washington Square Park. Just like we showed you the chess section at Union Square, this is the chess section at Washington Square. And there's also a dog run here. Should we quickly show the dog run? Sure. And then we go to McDougal, correct? Yeah. Well, we can walk around the fountain too after his teacher. Yes. Cut down and get him. What's most important? Yeah, guys. Before we go th any more through Washington Square Park, I think it most importantly is to get Hudson his New York slice of pizza. What's your thoughts on that? Are you in agreement with us? Oh, look, the tiger lilies are are out, yeah. right? Aren't those tiger lilies? No. Oh, they're not. Oh, but they look pretty anyway. No, those aren't birds of paradise. I'm not sure what those are, but they look pretty. Look at this little guy. Look. Oh my God. Look, he, it's a chess master in the making. Look at him go. Ah, that's the sweetest thing I've seen. He's got his juice. Look, he's really contemplating his next move. Yes, everyone's agreeing, gets Hudson's slice of pizza. Yes. First yes. things first. First things first is to make sure that Hudson gets his New York slice of pizza. He missed it over the weekend. Right, that he missed it while we were in Philadelphia. He was on a pizza strike. Yeah. He while we were in happy. Philly. He was none too happy. Right. I mean, he had this cheesesteak, but he had no, no pizza. Let's stay on the uh, shady side. No pizza for Hudson in Philadelphia. Broccoli no says. Broccoli says. Pizza hunger strike. Exactly. Exactly. S Fields 99. Oh, tiger lilies won't um, bloom to the end of June. Oh, thank you, thank you, was Joseph that a Taylor. Paradise, Do you Joe? know what that what what that orangey flower Joseph. was? You know, I'm not. I'm not really. I, I mean. You know, I'm a city girl. I, I, I know I'm not really. Uh, I don't know much about the gardens. I do. I do my best. <laughs> oh, look at this door. Oh yeah. Look at this old door, guys. I've seen a few people pass through. Guys. We're going to get Hudson a slice of pizza 
from Ben's Pizza on McDougal Street at the corner of West Third. They, they claim to be the most famous pizza in the world. Now, I'm gonna wait right I here. don't know about that. I think that might be a hearty claim. That's a wholehearted hearty but claim. Can you take this while I get money? So yeah. I'm all set. Welcome aboard, guys. Sunday afternoon, Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, most NYU students are already gone. S Fields 99, Sally Field. HC -E teacher, looks like only it's a monthly thing. You try to do Patreon as they do a yearly price. Nick G's explaining stuff. Oh, thank Nick you. Nick G, thank you. Yes, you can buy it. You can do a monthly donation or you can pay in advance for an entire year on Patreon. Yes. Did you did you hear that? Yep. You you Next to Owens was Bleaker Bob's. Nice year, yeah. Yes. Bleaker Bob's was right over here. We have a beautiful photo of it. Go ahead. Now it's time for Hudson to get his pizza. James is going to hang back and we're going to order pizza for Hudson. He's waiting across the street. We're going to get our, 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 our slice of pizza for Hudson. Hi, how are you? Can I get a, a, a plain slice? I'll pay you now for it since you're by the register. Okay, I'll save you the trip over. So guys, thank you. A plain slice is only $3, which is a very, very, very reasonable amount. Thank you so much. They got it in the oven for Mr. Hudson. I'm gonna get some, some napkins. Oh, there's Hudson. Hi, Carl. Oh, yeah. hey. Oh, can you put that in your... Yeah. How are you? How's everything? Good, good, good. We're getting a slice of pizza for Hudson. Oh, we are in Philadelphia for a few days. I saw. So, you know, on strike as far as pizza's concerned because we're not going to, you know... I mean, we got a cheesesteak for him. When yeah, in Philly, you got to do cheesesteak. You know, pizza is New York. Yes. Right, Hudson? Okay. He's waiting. How's everything good? Good. We're just painting in Bushwick right now. Oh, There's cool. A bunch, bunch of Luis Cortez. I've already showed them a bunch of them. They're doing a big nice. production. And my nephew just uh, arrived. He's starting in NYU. Oh, <gasps> nice. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, walking around, taking our bearings. So yeah, I mean, around. do it today because Tuesday going to be 95 degrees. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. Then we're gonna be sweating it out. Yeah, yeah we're, yeah. we're, we're, this is feeling beautiful now. Yeah, I know. Like, Last weekend was super hot. Yeah. Yeah, so give our love to Mears. We I haven't know. seen him in so long. I know. We're gonna have to walk out to Bushwick because I know he, Bushwick, he's done a lot of walls well, out there, right? The studio. We're like in South Fork, we're right by the Navy Yard. So oh, you are? Perfect. Oh, yeah, perfect. Would be cool. I mean, oh, I we would love, love that. We love that. I'll reach out to you on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. do that. Perfect. Right, Nice seeing you. That was one of our graffiti artist friends that we know from uh, back in the day. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, wait. Ours is. Ours is coming. Oh, thank you. Okay, here's the regular slice. Oh, it's it's hot, guys. Oh, looking good. Let me show you how it looks just before I bring it out to Hudson because. Should we go on that little, um, how about that one over there? Oh. We're going to go right by where Bleaker Bob's used to be. Look, celebrating 60 Bleaker years of Bob. Bleaker Bob's was right here, guys. Bob, Bleaker Bob's records was right here. But they here. got the Dylan 60. Dylan at 60. 60 years of Bob Dylan on Columbia. Ads right here. Hudson's okay. going to get his pizza. Wait up, let me so set guys. it up over here. There we go. I always take the, the first bite just to make sure that it's safe for Hudson. Just to make sure. It's like the royal taster. Mm. Make sure it's tasting okay. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, nice and hot. Let it relax yeah, a little. Yeah, it has to cool off, guys. It's super hot right hey, now. Hey, Mike Lewis. Wee. Wee. James, why don't we come all the way, like, so you can show this way into the bed. Yeah. 
Hudson is not doing keto. Yeah, go around the corner. Yeah. The graffiti artist 3D Wonder is Mears. M-E-R-E-S. We've known him for decades. Mears won. He ran the five right. points you ready, before that whole thing was rebuilt. Okay, here we go. Just then beautiful. Pizza. I took the first, the first bite. And here goes Hudson. Here we go. It's yeah, still, thanks, Carl Lower. It's still a bit hot. Oh, it is hot. Yeah, that's what we're getting. Pizza for Hudson. I can barely we could always get Hudson a steak. He got his cheese steak there. I can barely hold it. Okay, ready, Hudson? Oh, Carla, Karen Law Leonard is saying, Carla, I plant flower. So the name is Cannons. They come in red, yellow, and orange. Cannons, awesome. thanks for that. Whoa. Karen, thank you. Hudson's loving it. You got it ready? Hey, David Jasper's in the house. David, Hudson's having his New York pizza. Yeah, S Field, you know. Got a picture it's of me in front spice. of that. Yeah, I got a picture of HC teacher took a picture in front of Bleaker Bob's before it closed. That it's looks a like big, a nice serviceable New York slice. $3. Yeah, that's a nice bargain. Hudson's having, let me come around this way a little bit. There he goes. He's sitting like a very good boy. Good boy. Hey, Lee Voon Wow. Lee Voon Yao popping in. Welcome aboard, Memorial Day weekend. It's hot. He's loving it though. He's loving it. He's loving it. Does he even taste the pizza? Mar Marvin Engel, that's a very good question. That's a good question. Marvin Engel, that's a very fair Look question. A very Hudson. just question. Hudson. Marvin Engel. haagen has a black and white cookie flavor. It's right behind us. <laughs> Honey, look what's behind us there. Black and white cookie flavored ice cream. Wow. By haagen -Dazs. Did you see that? Did you see that snatch? We'll call it the pizza yeah. snatch. Are you showing it? Yeah. Raven, Raven. We do get tired. Most importantly, Jim gets tired. He was calling this 4th of July earlier. So, you know. Okay. Now. Take now that as you... It's cooling off sufficiently. Yeah. Okay, you ready, Hutch? You're gonna catch oh, thanks, it. Robin Hogan. Catch. Good boy. In it goes. Nice and cheesy. Nice and cheesy. Easy cheesy. Do you want any bite, James? Yeah. Or is it all for Hudson? Yes. Angela Baldwin. No, I don't want a bite. Angela Baldwin. Hi, I would Angela. love a bite. Um, says Hudson's ear is looking to get better. Yeah, it's on the other side, and it has gotten much, much better. I would love... No, no, no. Oh, you don't want to bite. Okay. I would love to, but... Okay. Oh, Nick G, they're back. Nick G, all our moderators. I'm going to get rid of one. No, 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 don't worry about it. They'll, the Nick guy. All right. The Naked HD. You got a sneak focus. Carla on throws Hudson. it right down Hudson's throat. Andy Wood, right down the... Uh, Hudson Alley. Yeah, right down the alley there, right in the bread basket. Oh, he, he caught it. it. He caught it. Got him. Thanks, Nick G. Johnny Azaria. It's like they shuffle into the bar. The bouncers throw them out. They come back later. Yo, 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 yo. I'm, I'm coming in. And Nick G shows him the door. Okay. All our moderators. Guys, last, last piece. Nice job. Nice job. Yeah, Nick G. Anything with Smith and Mighty on it is great by me. But thanks for that. We'll talk more about this so guys, cream live. Pizzeria. It most says, purport, arguably, the most famous pizza in the world, according uh, to the since audience. Since 1956. And listen, guys, I got to hand it to you because a plain slice for $3 is a bargain. Because a lot of pizzerias have raised their pl prices and to like 4 or even 5 or even $6 a slice. Want to loop down McDougal and so, back up Thompson to the park? This has been, yes, in business since 1956. If you want like a true New York slice at a decent price, I think Ben's is it. Yeah. And Hudson approves. Most importantly, Hudson approves. He approves. So Ben's pizza extra, gets an extra, extra good. Oh, which area is this? We're in Greenwich Village. We're in the heart of Greenwich Village. Smack that. We're on McDougal Street and we're, um, Ben's is on the corner of West 3rd. McDougal at West 3rd, heart of Greenwich Village, guys. 
Now we've highlighted the beautiful Cafe Reggio many times, including in the snow. During a snowstorm, we stopped and had some espresso. It was so beautiful. It's been in business since 1927. Oh, look at this cutie. Hello. Are you having some Are you having a falafel? Or some hummus? He just had pizza. Oh, wow. He's a pizza dog. He's a pizza lover. Well, I mean, we did a plain slice for him, but he does want either or sausage or pepperoni. What's her favorite? Like everything. Everything, just like Hudson. Ooh. I mean, they're 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 made for each other. Then she never turns anything down when it comes to food. Ne neither does him. He'll even eat paper products if they got some food sauce on them. <laughs> bye bye. So Cafe Reggio, guys, just to show you again, this is the place that brought introduced cappuccino to the United States. It has a, a amazing uh, brass with angels on the top oh, go and show. cappuccino maker i mean I, james said i should just go ahead and go in and show it to you is it so gorgeous i'm going to just go in and show you the gorgeous cappuccino maker that um that the founder of cafe reggio imported he saved his life savings to bring this cappuccino maker to the united states i'm just going to quickly show it to you I'm gonna go in and show it to you. This is the famous cappuccino maker. Do you see the angel on the top? He spent, the founder of Cafe Reggio spent his life savings to get this cappuccino maker from Italy to the United States, and he's the first person to introduce cappuccino. Isn't it gorgeous? It's stunning. We love it. Yeah, so I wanted to show it to you. And you can watch our live stream where we, where we get um, cappuccino and coffee. From here, the, um, the machine is now just a show, uh, like a showpiece. But this place has been in business since 1927, and that cappuccino maker—it just says it all. I mean, Greenwich Village is seeped in history, guys. Seeped in history. <laughs> yeah, wasn't it gorgeous with the angel on top? I mean, he spent his life savings to bring that cappuccino maker to the United States. And he's credited as, as introducing cappuccino uh, here. Guys, if you've also seen our live stream in the past, oh. is an amazing, amazing Bel Belgian fried place called Palm Beach. It's singing, it's siren song. Right. It used, to be lo it used to be located in the East Village, but the building it was located in there was a gas explosion and fire and they were forced to close the business because the building got, um, you know, demolished. Broccoli says no palm frites for James. James had a lot of food while we were on vacation in Philadelphia. Damn you, Broccoli. Damn you. So he's not allowed to have palm frites now. <laughs> broccoli says. <laughs> Damn you, broccoli. Damn you to hell. Oh, what's the address? We're on McDougal Street, guys. And this is Minetta Lane. Oh, yeah, show to Nia. This is, Ma this is the historic Minetta Tavern. It used to be a working man's bar, um, but it's owned, it's owned by um, Keith McNally um, and you know, like a, the restaurant tour, it's it's fancy now, but it used to be a working man's bar. Oh, Heidi and Elisa Pella just gave us five euros. Thank you so much, Heidi. Let me show you Hudson and, and let me give you a kiss. Thanks, Heidi. Heidi. Kisses for Hudson. Kisses, big kisses to you. Yes, it was Free John Cafe in the 60s. Nice job, Yuri A. And this and is where- Cafe uh, what, Bruce Springsteen? Dylan Hendricks. Played. 
Bob Dylan, this One was his the first, first uh, place yeah. that he played when he came yeah, to New York City. And across the street at the Gaslight, is up over here. Right, this is a, we're going to do a, no, another Bob Dylan tour, but we're going to show you yeah. all the haunts you of Bob goes, Dylan. Right? But um, Cafe Wa is the first place where he played uh, when he when he got off the bus, right? Uh, yeah. And came to New York. Birthday fest, May 24th. Wow, oh, and it was just Bob Dylan's birthday. Yeah. Steve, right? Oh, Seville on Charles Street is supposed to be an excellent Spanish restaurant. Oh, thank yes, you, Jack Rabb. Yes, yeah. we know that. We yeah, yeah, we yeah. photographed it, and it's Jack in Rabb, good it's call. in our book, isn't it, James? Yes, Seville. Yeah. Seville. Wow, Seville. Seville. A lot of folks around. The smoke shop. It's the draw, drawing a crowd, apparently. Yeah. Wow. And how? Player. You know, playa balls. Playa! Oh, here's one of our Montes. Now, this is a great um, Italian restaurant. This is Monte's Trattoria. And oh, it, show it's, to me on the other side it's here. family owned. It's been in business since 1918. Yep. And it's uh, owned by Chef Pietro Mascani. Look. He also owns another restaurant, Mascani, oh, down the street. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta spin around. It has a great, uh, has a great neon sign. And, um, um, since 1918. See, Monty's has been a family-run establishment. High quality food at affordable prices. There's Pietro Moscani. And very reasonable. Let me just show you. Very reasonable. Oh, hey, Pietro, how are you? How's everything? Long time no see. I know. We have, our, we have Hudson here. So, as well guys this is such a treat this is pietro he's the owner and the chef no, and i was telling them that you also have your um you know moscani's down yeah. the street yes yeah. how's everything been every you doing okay not too bad good good i know it was difficult you know during the pandemic but i'm glad to see and i'm happy that you still have your outdoor dining yeah. area because some people have taken them down and I'm happy because, you know, being that we have our doggy, yeah. you know, oh, yeah. I know you always had your little, your no, little, yeah, yeah, yeah. you always had that, but, yeah. that, but you know, it was, um, this is, this is nicer, more, more yeah. open. Yeah, definitely. Great. Yeah, definitely. So what would you say to our, to our audience? Cause I'm live streaming now. What yeah. would you, if they were going to come here and they haven't ever eaten here before, what would you recommend? Well, uh, people come here, they enjoy themselves because they find uh, they find something that they're going to like. It. So the menu is full. And, uh, and he makes he yeah, makes his own lot, pasta. Homemade pasta. Right, it's all homemade pasta. Yeah. None of that. And his, and, and his Nana's sauce. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Angelo. And everything is made with love. That's yeah, the most yeah. important thing. Everything is made with love. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you, Pietro. <laughs> oh, that was so nice to yeah, see Pietro. See yes, we, we interviewed him for our book. Uh, it's the photo of of uh, Monty's and their amazing neon sign is in our book New York Nights, along with an interview with uh, Pietro. He's so nice, so sweet, and the food yeah. is really amazing there. Yeah. Oh, the address of the townhouses that had the steps. Oh, that was um, that was that was Washington, Washington Square, Square North. North. It was seven to East of Fifth it was Avenue. seven to thirteen Washington Square North. Seven to thirteen Washington Square North. People stupid. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yep, gotcha. Is the one and the same. Yeah. Kids love the Village. Yeah, so it's so nice to see Pietro. You know, our our channel, if you're new to our channel, by the way, I'm Carla, this is James, most importantly, Hudson, who just had pizza. Yeah. Hudson. We like to support a lot of mom and pop businesses. You know, small, independently owned restaurants. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna. I want to show Villa Moscone down here. Yeah, let's show Villa Moscone. That's his oh, other restaurant. Villa. 
Well, why don't we keep that to another yeah, stream? We'll that, yeah. So we're going to head back to Washington well, Square Park now. Oh, yeah, you want to check in? Before we do that, let's see if our good, our, our, our friend Jamal, the owner of this um, beautiful vinyl record store, is around today. Because we'll stop by there and, and say hi if, if he's in. Um, he also sells CDs. No, we're not, we're not ending. We're going to go back to Washington Square Park. Oh, yeah. No, no, no we're, not, we're not ending. But we want to see if Jamal is here at, at Village Music World. The last time we stopped in at Village Music World was on Record Store Day, and we bought we we bought the um, the Blondie yep. seven inch release and ran into his and song. not only that as we were leaving after buying it the producer for Blondie's Record Store release day as well as a lot of other albums uh, Steve Rosenthal was outside we got to meet him and uh, take a photo with him. And he was so nice, he stopped to talk to us, and it was extra, extra, extra good. So let's see if Jamal is around. Oh yeah, he's in the back there. Do you want, did you want to look through? Um... Yeah. I'll start looking. Hey, Jamal! I'm gonna ask Jamal to turn down the music. James, can you hold this? I'll ask Jamal to hold down the music. Oh, sure. Got to say hi to Jamal. Hey, Perry Wilkes, Dallas Ward. Thanks to both of you guys popping in today. Hope you're having a nice Memorial Day weekend. We're in smack dab in Greenwich Village. We're going to head back to Washington Square Park shortly. We're stopping by, seeing all our favorite businesses, checking in on the owners, seeing how everything's going. I'm a most happy fella. You know that, guys. Oh, wow. That's cool. So, guys, here's Jamal again. He came hey, outside because I didn't. You? I didn't want to have him to have to turn down the music inside the store because it's nice out here. you know, otherwise we'll get our copyright strike. <laughs> yeah, we had to. You know, um, we were just in Philadelphia. I was looking at your pizza. Yeah, I just got it. And the funny South thing was, wow. oh, this was great. The cheesesteak was here. great I there. there like a month ago. Oh, oh nice. we loved it. We I loved love it. The yeah, so we like just took the train there. We took the New yeah, Jersey yeah, yeah. Transit, and yeah. it wasn't bad, you know, to the like SEPTA. An hour and yeah. yeah, I mean, it, uh, Amtrak is quicker, but we it took us two and a half hours because it was a local train, not oh, the okay. Express, but yeah, it's yeah. okay. You know, but the, we, they left um, Hudson on the train. It was perfect. It was perfect. So, yeah, we're, we're excited. We're, we're going to have another record store day coming in June, yes. right? Did you yeah. already order us or order some bunch of stuff? Yeah. He orders. <laughs> he, you know, Jamal orders everything, guys. Yeah, yeah, for record store day, what's that? June what? 18th. June, 18th June 18th is the next record store day. Jamal will have everything, everything available. Oh, yeah. Heidi and Ellie Sapelli just gave us a 199 euro super sticker. Thank you, Heidi. Thanks, Jamal. Heidi. Not, not only does he have an amazing selection of music, but he's so knowledgeable about all the different types of music. So if you ever come in here and you really, you're looking maybe for a gift for somebody or you just don't know of a particular, you know, you're like, oh, I'm not sure about this. You know, what does this album sound like? Jamal will know. He knows everything. He's so, so, so knowledgeable. Extra, extra, extra good. So, um, yeah, what, um, is there, um, what? Is there who like anything like that you could think of at the top of your head for record store day coming up? What uh, like what are going to be some of the big this releases? Is the do you know? Second run of record store day. Uh, there is too many titles. I mean, I went through, <laughs> but I like a couple of them. I did uh, remember. I think there is a, a Devo and there is a Prince. Definitely a Prince. That's gonna be Ooh. A very big. Uh, it's the Golden Experience. Uh, that, that's going to be big. I know that. So and, a, and a Devo, they're, 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 they yeah. just um, did a concert or something, right? Yeah, I mean, the list is available to check. It's on uh, online, recordstoryday.com. Right, you can see what's going to be released. Hey, yeah. Jimmy, right, on, right in there, if you wanted to go yep. inside, there's right. a, um, a Springsteen right on the top that I gotcha. saw. Here you go. I'll, hold, I'll hold Mr. Hudson. Hudson. Right on the left there. James, wrong way. No, I know. I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm like, where is he going? He's going into the apartment building. 
So we're gonna stay here because I don't want to have to turn off turn off the music. But you can see how how deep the store is. And not only that, Jamal has a, the, his secret stash in the back. So he has a lot of oh, uh, yeah. great collector's that is, uh, items. That is, I added a lot more back to that secret stash. Oh, <laughs> see, hear that? <laughs> He added yeah. a lot more stuff oh, to the yeah. secret stash. Oh, what's that box set, Ramon? That's a that's pretty new, yeah, right? Yeah, that's the record store day exclusive. I got more of those, and I just swept the rest from the distribution. Uh, and there is, uh, you know, I've got those back in stock. Daft, Daft Punk. Punk. Oh, oh extra day. good. Yeah, and there is a two box set right here. Oh, look at that! I love this cover. Sometimes, you know, that's like more. I just like even the. Sometimes the vinyl you like even just for the artwork too. Yeah. Like it's because it's so so amazing. Oh, look at the neon for the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Peppers, you know we love our neon signs. That's the new album, you know. Yeah. Secret stash is not a secret anymore, Andy Wood saying. Yeah, I, I let the con out of the bag, so to speak. Look at Hudson. He's just, uh, yeah, he's tired. just like, yeah, I'm, I'm How shopping. Doing, Hudson? I'm shopping. How you doing, You remember me? Yeah, he, oh, he, of course he remembers you. He loves you. Oh, I see the War Album. We got to see them last year live and free in Venice, California for their 50th anniversary without Eric Burton. Oh, oh but that's oh, awesome, yeah. Beverly, to be able to see them in concert. Yeah, just step right over them, Jamal. You know Hudson, he's, he's a sweet guy. Yep, there's the Bruce. Oh, 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 you, he turned down the music no, for us. It's oh, just track. <laughs> oh, it's just a track. Oh, it's just the track ended. Yeah. I was getting all excited. I'm I, like, oh, I, wait a I'll minute. Put it down for you. Oh, you don't mind? Yeah, oh, thank you. Jamal is going to turn down the music so we can, we can show you more of, the, more of the stock here. Hold on. Let me get out of the doorway. I'm, I'm, I'm getting out of the doorway so you can go in. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Jamal. So yes, amazing, amazing selection. Everything is pretty well organized. Yeah, pretty straightforward organization, right? And he has n not only new albums, but also a lot of uh, a lot used. of a lot of used as uh, as well. So there's really something something for everyone. Billy it's Joel. Awesome to see. Did you find um, M.A.? Mm, no, no. I saw, you know, nothing. And he has a lot of CDs. I mean, yep. a really, do you want to hold Mr. Hudson? I'll just oh, go I'll say in, yeah, into yeah, say yeah, hi yeah. to Jamal. See, here's some of the new releases back here. It, the, the store is... Oh. That he has... That any... This is really amazing. great selection. Yes, stashes is in the back. And listen, even if even if you're traveling and you don't have um, you don't want to carry vinyl with you, you can help support Jamal because he has T-shirts as well. So even if right, what I'm telling everybody in the chat, Jamal, is that even vinyl you. And they want to buy vinyls, we'll give them a. See, you hear. What <laughs> happened? <laughs> What's that? You want to highlight? Amazing title of jazz. Oh, here, wait. You know what? We're, our transmission. For some reason, I come back in the back of the store. I don't have as good an internet, Jamal. I have to come over here for a second. 
you know, I have AT&T. It doesn't, um, AT&T, the, the signal is very weak sometimes. What do you, what do you have on your phone, Jamal? Verizon. Verizon. Verizon's much better. Yeah, see, I stand over here on perfect signal. But if I stand by the cash register, terrible signal. Are you guys hearing me better now? It looks like the signal is back very strong. Well, I just had to, I couldn't go this deep into the store. Jamal just wanted to highlight some of the, some of the things that uh, came in. It's a lot of Chit Picker. Great album. Oh. Kings and When, Alone Together is Chit Picker with Bill Evans. My favorite, one of my favorite Frank Sinatra albums. Oh. Uh, oh, somebody in the chat is asking, do you have anything by industry? Industrial. By the group called Industry. I N D U S T R Y. Industry. No. No, we, we, no, he does not, um, David Jasper. You, 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 we, you, you found something that you that you've stumped him on. Mm -hmm. This the the Bowie seven inch. Yeah, he has a lot of things oh, from I record got, store day. The, I, um, I sweeped everything again. I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> That's all record store day. All, all the record store day releases. So listen, guys, if you want to find some great vinyl, also he has, oh, the Almond Brothers, cream of the crop, extra, extra good. So anybody missed anything for record store day? Yeah, guys, if you missed anything on to dress. Hold on a second. I'm going to show you outside so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to show you outside. Here we are, Village Music World. It's 197 Bleecker Street. I was showing everybody the outside again so they know. Yeah, I saw the David Bowie. That's amazing that you yeah. got that. Yeah, I mean... It was, n nobody had this a anymore. I sweeped him, that's what. <laughs> See, he swept the stock. He swept the stock. James, look. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Wow, look at that, live at the Shakespeare Festival. 1995, oh, extra, extra, extra good. Jamal. As always, you blow us away with your amazing you. selection, your knowledge of music. We're going to come visit you on Record Store Day. Yes, We're going to do another, another Record Store right. Day highlight. Thank you so, so much. You're amazing, amazing. Thank you. And not only that, he's a super generous person to the community. He supports, um, he hires, a, 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 and he gave his entire selection of vinyl to uh, the, an arc, the archives. Okay. Yes, uh, that was um, was it N? It was at um, the university archives. It's a uh, it's a nonprofit. They used to be on White Street. Now they're upstairs. oh ARC, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When because at first Jamal has been in the business so long that he was at the, he was in in business during the junction when you know kind of vinyl fell out of favor and he got rid of uh, you know basically a lot of vinyls. But now he's brought it back. You know he's he's got a huge selection of vinyl at the store. But for a while. He just said, oh, that's it. You know, like no one is really buying vinyl anymore, except for maybe some DJs and stuff okay. like that. And it, and it didn't make sense. Like he could, couldn't make a living, you know, with a store full of vinyl. And he got rid of it, but not anymore. Vinyl is back, baby. He's got a full they selection. They are here to stay, vinyls. Oh, <laughs> extra good. Well, thank you. Here you go. Thank you so much, Jamal. You have a extra. Yeah. No. Jamal, oh, no. Jamal is gifting oh, us. Amazing. Oh my God, Jamal. Okay. Oh, oh, actually, there is another 10 inch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, let me, let me. No. <laughs> oh my God, Jamal, Jamal. Well, listen, uh, this is a good question for you. Do you know that, like, you know I, I, I love Madonna too. Now, I, I, got the, I got the Madonna record store day release, so don't worry about that one. I, I have it. But, wait a minute, wait a minute. What, we, what we're looking for, and it's not out yet, 
is that, you know, we belong to that, what's that pub? The yeah, 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 yeah. They're going to have a special, right, it's going to be like a box set. Um, but we missed out it's on in the August. Pre-order. It's going to, supposedly coming out in August, but we, we missed out on the pre-order, like they sold, you're going to be getting it? Beautiful. You're gonna, you're gonna hold one for me. I'm, I'm getting it from you. Because I was so upset that I, I don't know what I was thinking. I forgot about it. And then I never do the, did the pre order online. And then, you know, now it just says. You know, with vinyl, especially in the limited. Yeah. Yeah, they don't do that much. He's a. Thanks, HET. Right. He, he's a Stones freak. He has. Oh, hey, guys. So many Rolling Stones. He showed us some of the amazing selection. Oh, God. <laughs> it's yeah. Like, it's Honey, get it close so I can hear. So crazy. Right. He and knows. Uh, yeah. Jamal has so everything they, stolen. They're making it up to me because there are very few of them. You know, they go pre-order, so they oversell before it comes out, basically. Oh. So they have to fill up. You know, film form for the big corporation, Amazon, etc. That's the way it is. Oh my God. And you know, they leave the small guy behind. Yeah. It's not fair. But I'm on it. <laughs> See, <laughs> he's on it. He's on it. Don't worry. Oh if there's a will, there's a way. Jamal will find a way. He'll get whatever you guys need. And because you can call Jamal up on the phone. What's your phone number, Jamal? Uh, 646-724-9769. 646-724-9769. guys, in case you didn't hear with Carlos and a loud voice. You can call it. Jamal will ship things to you too, right? That's right. And That's right. They can email us at village. Uh, revival records nyc at gmail.com village revival records nyc at gmail at gmail.com you can email jamal too because if you're looking for anything vinyl needs and he's got a lot of um he's got a lot of tapes too so you know a lot of cassettes are coming back people are collecting oh, yeah. it and lots of lots of CDs, they claim it's like 2.5%. Oh, they put your phone number Increase. in the chat, our, our moderator, too, right. so everybody knows, too. So then your phone will be ringing off the hook now. You'll, you'll be like, oh my God, what are these phone calls? Who are these people? <laughs> oh, Jamal, thank you so much. You're always so sweet, so generous. So listen, you know, we just we just ran into um, Pietro. Pietro Mascani, you know, from, um, you know, uh, just down the block, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. the chef. That's yeah. Right. And, and we're going to we're going to visit him and, and maybe we all have um, some some uh, some bite to eat soon together. I'm always busy in bite to eat and you're just like him. Perfect. <laughs> He's like, that's it. He's like, I always have time for for for, for, for an Italian food break. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, look at this. Look hey, go with me one of those times. I would love to take you guys out. Oh, that was great. Yeah. Perfect. Well, we will. We I will. Eat. Yeah. <laughs> I can always eat. Yeah. Oh my God. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Jamal. We'll be back soon. Let me. Let me oh, forget about the tennis. Okay. Okay. James, let me get out my black bag. Yeah, just a tons of great stuff. Look at that Bob Dylan springtime in yeah, New York. Yeah, that just came out recently. Yeah. That's part of the bootleg series. Guys, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, thanks for hanging out with us today. Memorial Day weekend. There's Stan Getz, Big Band Bossa Nova, another great one. Maybe it's in your satchel. Oh man. Oh my God. Oh, thanks so much. Oh my God. Thanks so much, Jamal. Look, see, we don't go anywhere without a vinyl bag. Check, check the list out coming up. I can't remember everything in my head. I will. I will. need something to Thank you. I will. I will. I like. Like I said, I knew Especially that. Especially these freaking stupid, like a very extremely limited edition. Yeah. I like tailors, but you know, I give those away free. You know what I did, right? No, you didn't <laughs> say that. Oh my God! I mean, it's only four thousand pieces for the U.S. and it's three thousand stores. Who's the gonna give it to? It's like one every store is gonna get two, three pieces. Right. I mean, I scored. I got like about eighteen pieces. And I looked, everyone went to Taylor Swift. And I said, like, you know something? That's it. Whatever who won it, I put it up. Whatever who won it, <laughs> live Instagram. <laughs> nice. Oh, my God. Oh, that's that great. So nice. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, because you couldn't get it anywhere. Oh, Carla, they want to know his email again. Oh, they want to they want to know your the, they want to know how to email you again so that and they'll village. put it in the chat. It's village. Let me show you revival. Village. See village revival. NYC at gmail.com. So spell out village revival and then put NYC at gmail.com. And Jamal is the name of, of the owner. Um, he'll, he'll answer your email and he'll get you whatever you guys need. Right. Whatever you guys need. Jamal is the sweetest, most generous person and super knowledgeable about music. Yeah. So, just get down here, guys. Yeah, get, get your booty on down to Bleecker Street 197. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, so thank you Jamal. Guys, we'll see you soon. Day, okay? Oh, I'll thank you. Yes, yeah, stay guys. cool. That was so sweet of Jamal. Oh Listen, guys, spending time, awesome, spending time with the owners, you know, like they're, they're, our, they're our friends, you know. Oh, yeah. We've spent so many hours interviewing them, spending time photographing their stores. And, you know, we help promote them on their business on Instagram, too. In case you didn't realize, we have a at James and Carla Instagram account, too, which is, you know, mostly our obviously our photography <laughs> no. oh. but um you know we we put it up we, we don't we don't charge any of the businesses to prom to promote them on on our instagram account and you know we try to help them because to us these mom and pop stores oh, they, will make, the village they village, really. make each neighborhood unique truly like new york is definitely a city of neighborhoods and i have to say philadelphia was a city of neighborhoods oh, yeah. as well but we had a fun you know, time there oh my new god new york is our home so of course yeah, we we like love here. to promote all the mom and pop stores in our in our neighborhood and we're village residents we don't live in greenwich village we live in east village but village east west wherever you are <laughs> it's Smackdown. one we're one big happy family so yes, thank you, CB Earth Day, um, for putting up the address Thanks, for All Village Revival Records. Best. That was so super Play nice. The best chat on YouTube. Extra, extra, best extra. Chat good. on YouTube. Positive vibes always. Yeah. Hey, look, they painted something over here. Look. Oh, look. And me, I guess it's um maybe the paint is wet. Well, maybe we'll go to next street. Or you want to go up Solid? No, we'll go Thompson. We'll go. We'll take Thompson Street. And I'll go nice people make the world go round. Not everyone who works oh, with the public is kind. Yeah, that's true, SW, but to be, you know, in my experience, if you want to have a successful store, yeah, be nice. you better be a people person. <laughs> yeah. Because if, if you don't, if you don't have good difference. customer service, yeah. then what, yeah. you know, yeah. what, why? Yeah. Right. I, I don't even think you, you that, that you should have a store if, if you don't like the public, you know? I mean, you have to, be prepared to just spend a lot of time. Oh wait, Nick G, what is this? Yeah, look at a Land Rover trophy. Land Rover trophy. Now, what is this special edition? Yeah, look at that special edition. Nick D, did you see the Land Rover sedan on uh, Harry's Garage? Though? Yeah, Nick Nick G, um, James is asking, did you watch the latest Harry's Garage? It's not the on... latest. He just put up. Oh, one, not not the, the latest, the but the Silverstone. The but... Silverstone auction had a Range Rover sedan. I'm yeah, up. this is a Defender. Yeah, Defender. Yeah. Let's see what it says. P4DD. Yeah, it's the 110. But I never saw it in this livery. Wow, I wonder how much just this tire is. The livery I've never seen on it. Yeah. The Land Rover Trophy. Yeah, this but, is... But uh, look, they have the Union Jack on it. Yeah, Union Jack. Blacked out, though. Blacked out. And you see, like, that... It's got that... What's that yeah. called? Um, yeah. Those things. Cross hatching, yeah. Wait, wait. I'm going to show you what Diamond I mean. Plate. The diamond, the, like the, the true diamond plate. like the diamond plate, you know, stuff here. Pretty cool, right? Oh, I saw the Silverstone auctions. I would go for the GT2996. Yeah. And did you see that they had an E46 M3? Yes. Uh, Nick G. James, of and course. And the M3 Evo. And the M3 Evo. I believe the price of that M3 Evo, though. James was all excited. Guys, in case you, you're, you're not into cars, we're just talking cars a little bit. Yeah. James is a, a, a car um, a f buff, I yeah, guess you could, yeah, you you could, could say. say I followed him. Yeah. Yeah, let's go up to the other side. So, guys, we're going to go back um, towards Washington Square Park. See what the now. park's doing on a sunny. Oh, is this the boozy brunch again? Day. I don't know. The kids love it. 
<laughs> you got so thrown off. Like, There's a place. Him. Yes, this is the boozy bottomless brunch spot. Yes. Yeah, the kids love to brunch. <laughs> bottomless brunch, 90 minutes for $29. You get unlimited drinks for the purchase of an entree. Yes. It's the boozy the brunch. <laughs> Wow, he's carrying a lot of glasses. Yeah. Good luck. Good. Yeah. Oh my God, he was talented carrying all those glasses and water bottles. Yeah. Extra, extra, extra good, guys. Extra good. <laughs> now, not too far from from Village Revival is another place. Uh, punk and metal. Generation Records. And in punk. And yeah, metal. they they have a, an exceptional selection of. Um, Punk and, and, and metal records. Yeah. Can't do better than punk. That was fun seeing um, Mirce's girlfriend. Yeah. We, we've, um, we're seeing a lot of people today. Oh, and of course, flames. Jamal. I got flames like, on my car. Okay, guys. First, I got flames on my first, car. First person to get this movie reference. I got flames on my car. I got flames on my car. We'll get a Hudson portograph. I don't know what you're and, saying about these flames. And... Uh, Pizza sticker. Let me oh, you let want me to show, show you the inside of the chest. Let me show the pizza sticker in the chat. This is what you'll get in the mail. Yeah. The Hudson Pizza King sticker. No refrigerator should be without it anymore. Right. You could put it on the back of your phone. In-laws, Michelle Anastasio nice. got Michelle it. Anastasio. Michelle, Michelle. Oh, Very awesome. Cool. Michelle Anastasio, you get a Hudson uh, pizza sticker. I will, you know, well, actually, I can probably give it to you in person since you're coming to New York in just like a few days, right? Guys, I'm going to see if I can um, peek, in there. peek in there. This is a wonderful old chess shop. What? It's a beautiful chess shop. Not only can you uh, play chess here, because see, you could say they have the, t the tables outside, but inside, but they, sh they sell gorgeous chess sets. Look at this cats versus dogs chess set. The Battle of Rock's Drag. Look, Kasparov design. The Wild Animals Africa. I mean, you, they have amazing, amazing chess sets here. Look at the architecture of Spain, a building from Paris, wood chess pieces from Germany. <laughs> Hi, how are you? It's an amazing store and you can play, you, there's um, tables in the back too where you can play. See, prices per person per hour, chess $5, seniors only a dollar. After 7 p.m., 2.50, you can also play backgammon, and children play, play free at any time, which is extra nice. Like we just saw that kid playing in, um, in, uh, in Washington Square Park, and he was amazing, um, the little guy. Look at this, the most dangerous game, chess for three players. Gosh, I've never seen that. I've never seen a chess board for three players. Oh, does this chess store have a website? Yes, I believe they do. Let me let me check out let me check it out. Yes. It's www.chessforum.com. Let me get my thumb off of the chess forum. That's where we are. It's an amazing amazing shop. You can play chess here. You can buy chess uh, sets. Let me show you some more of the chess sets that are for sale. See, this is the back area where you can play chess. Look at exclusive design. So if you're looking for a unique gift for someone, I mean, I can't think of a better gift than, than a, a, a wonderful chess set. Yeah, looking for a Father's Day gift. That's right, Father's Day is coming up soon. I don't know how to play three-player chess, and now I'm interested, girl in the curl, saying, yeah, I don't know anything about three-player chess. Look at that. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, here's some more. Solid metal chess pieces. 
Oh, those are really pretty. Look, the Romans versus the barbarians. Look at that English design, metal and wood pieces you know, from they Italy. Chess for three players at a time. Yeah, so guys, this is chess for them. It's an amazing, amazing, amazing business. And look at this. There we go. James, they had a chess set for three players. I've never seen that before. Well, never seen Have you set. ever seen I that? Think we, um, when there was like two or three chess shops on this street, I vaguely remember. We were like, how do you play that? Andy Wood's saying, does Lego make a chess board? Maybe they made, if they made a one player, I'd be great. <laughs> a one player chess board. James, yeah, said he would, James said he would win every time. If yeah, only be, they made a one player yeah, chess board. Yeah, would be in great shape. <laughs> be, uh, you know. But you, you're right. Um, Ben, ben Genium is saying there are very few places in the world where a place like this could exist. I love New York. I can't believe all the little shops and places you two know about. Yeah, Ben Genium, I mean, that's why we started our channel, to be perfectly yeah, honest, is we were trying to highlight small independent businesses because we really feel strongly that it is so important um, that they survive. You know, I mean, we'll it's the pandemic. Uh, caused a, a great number of them to close because they were forced to close unless you were an essential business in New York City you were forced to close for many months yeah. and some of them were not able um, you know to reopen like the, the you know for financial reasons like they just right. they, they could not survive um, being closed for so long and then plus I mean now tourists have come back to New York but not to the degree before the pandemic no I mean, not to that degree at all. you know, James and I have been to Times Square pretty recently, and I can tell you it's not nearly as busy as it once was. No. And it really doesn't matter what time of year you go to Times Square, it had always been busy. Right. But, um, I mean, you know, there's a fair number of people walking around this weekend, you see, but even so, that used to be busier. Yeah. So we do, we do what we can for the love of, um, of these small businesses to help support them and highlight them on not only our YouTube channel, but our Instagram as well. And we, we hope you guys uh, uh, enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's all about support, guys. Are there any coin dealer shops in the area? Texman 81, we've, we've highlighted a very, very wonderful coin shop. In fact, it's called Stacks and Bowers. It deals with very rare coins and we've highlighted it in a um, recorded video if you look in our um you know our our recorded videos not a live stream um i think we briefly went in there on a live stream once but we did a whole recorded video on it there's a great um interview with uh one of the longtime employees and he showed us uh you know some gold bullion yeah and uh some amazing rare coins yeah Yeah, hey, rare. Reverend Janisario, how you feeling? Hey, um, Reverend how Jen. you doing after the surgery? Are you hope you're doing are you on the well. on the mend? Yeah, hope you're recovering. Yeah, let us know. Um, you know when you feel uh, you know strong enough for us uh, right. to come visit you um, at the Merchant House Museum. Oh, look at this baby! Hi, hi. Look a little blue. Is it friendly? He's very friendly. This is Hudson. He's Hi. 10. How old is your baby? Six. Six, six weeks old? Six, six years. Six years? Oh, I thought it was a puppy. Oh. Yeah, they look alike. They look alike. It's like a little mini me, right? Oh. Hey, hey. Oh, my God. They look so cute together. Thank yes, you. Thank you. Oh, how cute was that? I hear a tuba. Yeah, I hear a big band, guys. Guys, I hear a tuba. I'm going to have to get out. Oh, there he is. There's a tuba over there. Oh, wow. Guys, it's hot in here. Hey, look, Popeye and olive oil. James, do you see that? We're OK. Yeah. We're just going to, yeah. you know, right? Guys, it's hopping at Washington Square Park Memorial Day weekend. Extra, extra good, guys. Wow. Look at this. Ah. 
Here, just pan from side to side. Guys, this is looking west. Over this way, that's towards the West Village. Look, I want to show you the Empire State Building that you can see through the center of the arch. Hold on, I'm going to show it to you. Oh, the fountain's not on. That's strange. They don't have the fountain on today. If, alpha, if elephants could ballerina dance, it would sound like a tuba. <laughs> oh, you're too funny, James. Let's see what's going on over here. about the copyright strikes. Sure. Right. <laughs> That's fine. Hey, We're look, giving it to you. Up here. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, James Stenhouse, I mean, honestly, we've probably gotten a, a bunch of strikes. Uh, I, you know, it's okay. We got to we got to just, you know, have fun with it. Yeah, you know. I can't, I can't mute everything. Nick G, they don't care if it's a cover. If they find it, if, it, if even it just has a... <laughs> if it a, shares a melody. If it shares a melody, they give you a copyright uh, claim. They don't care. Not a strike. Not a, not a full strike. They give you a copyright claim. They'll give us a chance to take it down and remove it. So I'm not, I'm not worried about it. You know, I, I want you guys to enjoy yourself because this is the full experience. Look at how crowded and, and like it just happened in here. Yeah, Walid Khan says this is easily the most crowded park in New York City. I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah, Walid Khan, nice job. Yeah, it's. I would agree. It's, it's super nice. It's beautiful. Yeah, nice breeze, shade. Yeah, Rev Genosario, YouTube does have so many rules, but you know, it's okay. You know, right. we don't we, fun, we don't right. mind. We just have fun. We you know, we you you can enjoy the music now. We might have to remove it later. <laughs> um, you know, but d d don't even worry about it. Just just enjoy yourselves. You know, we're we're all here to have fun together. We're one big happy family. On Memorial Day weekend, what could be better? Music, art, 
I mean, food. We got pizza for Hudson. Pizza for Hudson. This has been an amazing, amazing, amazing live stream. Oh, no. Even the pigeon's coming in. Oh, oh my look God. At that ash. He's giving us the side eye. Yeah, look at him. That's the way he's looking at me. <laughs> look, at, look at this. Wait a minute, guys. Happy to be back in New York. Hudson says, just have fun. Don't worry, be happy. Music is good for you, Hudson says. <laughs> so listen guys, we hope, oh, oh God, do you see this? He's laying down. Huge thank you to Jamal. Yeah, huge thank you to Jamal at Village Revival Records for the gifts, thank you so much. We hope you had fun walking along with us. On Memorial Day weekend, we walked through Union Square. We walked through the Washington Square Art Show. Chris Bates is celebrating 13 months of membership. Oh my God, Chris Bates! One of the over OGs. Yeah, one of wow, the OGs. That's like one of our OG uh, YouTube yeah. uh, memberships, YouTube yeah. members. Thank yeah. you, Chris Bates. Thanks for that. so much, everybody. Again, yeah. thanks, Jamal. Thanks for all our supporters. Yeah, thank you guys. And uh, yeah, thanks for. Yeah, hope going you're having a nice, relaxing Sunday. Yeah. On Memorial Day adventure. Yeah, beautiful job, guys.